Justice Squad as I am back again with another awesome video. Today's video is going to be a story time about this weird time that I had um, in the school's theater. So let's get into the video. So first, um, I'm just going to like tell you guys a story and then I'm going to tell you the backstory. So this day was, let's see, it was an A day <clears throat> and it was during lunch time. So I guess I didn't have much lunch that day, so I just like ate it. I guess it was like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I just like literally ate it and I just like threw my trash away and I was just waiting for, you know, that 30 minutes to pass. So my friend came by, his name is going to be Pumpkin Pie. So Pumpkin Pie, he came up to me, he was like, yo Taylor, like me, me and, um, what am I going to call this other dude? I'm going to call him Itchy. So Pumpkin Pie was like, yeah, me and Itchy, we finna go to the theater. You want to come with us? I was like, yeah, let's go. So me, Pumpkin Pie, and Itchy, we all went to the school's theater. So it's like all the way, like, it's like really on the side of the school, like opposite sides of the school as opposed to the cafeteria. So like the cafeteria is on this side of the school. On the whole entire other side of the school is the theater. So we went to the um, theater and we opened the door and it was like pitch dark in there. It was black. You couldn't see anything. And we was like, what the heck? So Itchy, um, Itchy and Pumpkin Pie, they went backstage. And, like, they were like, oh, nobody's back here. All the doors and stuff are closed. So, yeah. So Pumpkin Pie and Itchy, they went, they came off the stage. And there's, like, aisles. You know how the theater is split up between, like, sections? Like, this section, a aisle. This section, an aisle. This section, okay. That's how ours is set up. So Pumpkin Pie, itchy they came down a stage and came through the aisles running back to me because i wasn't finna go but i didn't feel like doing all that extra work so i was just standing really at the entrance of the theater they came running eh, being loud hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo, all of that so right by the entrance of the theater there was like a sound area there's like a sound um room or whatever the second floor of the sound room they have extra props and honestly that second floor looks like the gallows <laughs> If you've never seen the movie The Gallows, it's like the scary movie about that literally happens in the theater, and it's like a ghost, and that's basically what happened to me, The Gallows. So yeah, um, so we went up to that second story, and there's like yeah, to get up there you have to climb the lap. There's a ladder, so we climbed the ladder to get there, and I went up there and I was like, whoa, this looks like The Gallows, <laughs> and even though it was dark, we were using our cell phone lights, so. That was giving our lights or our energy for like, you know, light, whatever. So he was looking, look crazy. And I was scared that I was going to flash the wrong area and see something I wasn't supposed to see. So I was like, hey, um, itchy pumpkin pie, I'm going to go down to floor one because I'm not playing no games. This is built like the gallows. It was like, hey, yeah, it really is. But pumpkin pie, keep in mind, he's white. He's a risk taker. He was like, I'm going to stay up here and blah, 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 blah. Itchy wasn't having it either. Itchy was like, nah, bro, I'm going to go downstairs with Taylor. So I was like, all right, you, you, you cool, you cool. Okay, so me and Itchy, we went down to base one, and Pumpkin Pie was still up there messing around. So, like, two seconds late, not two seconds, probably like a minute later, P Pumpkin Pie came back down. And we was all just chilling or whatever, and then, all of a sudden, we heard something in the back. Keep in mind, Pumpkin Pie and Itchy already looked at the perimeter and made sure nobody was there. So what was that sound? During that time when I heard it, I wasn't thinking all of that. I was thinking, I need to exit now. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I said, um, bye theater, and I ran. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I ran. Me, Itchy, we ran. And Pumpkin Pie, he was like trying to process it for a second. After I dipped, he dipped. Because <laughs> I was not having it. So, yeah, we ended up running back to the cafeteria. And it was just a weird. So, guys, that was the story. Now I'm going to give you guys the backstory. So, this is a story that my um, theater teacher told me when I was a freshman. So, many, many, many years, like years ago, like a long time ago <laughs> there was a girl there um she went there her name was margo and um yeah i guess like yeah she went there she was a redhead ginger whatever you call them <laughs> but yeah she was a redheaded girl she went to the school and she was in the theater program and all of that 
And I guess, I don't know what happened to her, but I'm assuming she died or something? I don't know. I don't even know if she died. She must have died. Apparently she did die, but I don't remember him saying all of that in the story. But yeah, she went there, and I guess um, she died, blah, 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 blah. And then, I guess after that, um, there were other students, I guess, that went after her passing, and they've experienced some, like, weird things. So, um, there was this, um, girl that liked the boy that Margo liked, and something, I forgot what happened to her exactly, because it's been many years since I heard the story, but I heard she, Margo did her something bad, I don't know what happened, I think she fell down, like, on stage or something, so yeah, that happened, and the dude that Margot liked, he walked right past, I guess it was a vending machine by the theater, or she walked by the, the vending machine, and a free soda just came out for him. I'm like, what the heck? And this one dude was like, oh, Margot's not real, Margot, Margot, and he was in the theater, and a set piece fell on his head. Knocked him right in the head. <laughs> like, so, yeah. So Margot was like, you know, bittersweet type person, no, no, but we were thinking, we was like, yo, that had to have been Margot because nobody was there with us and stuff just don't automatically do that for no reason. Like, I can understand if it was just like a sound of like natural wear and tear, but it wasn't. It was the sound of something like falling or a step or something like that. So I'm just like, it's weird. <laughs> So ever since then, I've never went to the theater while there's not a show or while there's like not a whole bunch of people or a class in there because I don't trust Margot and I feel like she's going to do me something because, you know, Margot was back in them days. Like, you know what I'm saying? Margot would go way back. She way back, you know, people from way back when they crazy, you know, like I go, I go, I go, I go crazy type, you know, so that is my story about my crazy theater experience and i'm probably going to call this my crazy um what is that movie called again i just said it gallows experience this will be my gallows experience thank you guys for watching tune in next time for more t sizzles channel you up this morning. Nigga, you win. For real, uh, yeah i got a big amount i took a different route i am the pick or the little I was a juvie, it gave me community, I had to pick up some little uh, I want it easy, please do not tease me, I want my Yeezy to journal uh, This is the season, I got the